In our previous video, we discussed how to use the PHP code sniffer scripts from the command line to verify our code matches the standards we've created and are using. The huge downside to that process is that we're constantly having to switch between our editor and our terminal to check our code. It's enough to make us want to pull our hair out. In this video, we'll discuss how to use the PHP CS extension for Visual Studio Code to check our code as we write it. Hello developers, and welcome to PHP Developers TV, your home for everything you need to know to be a knowledgeable PHP developer. I'm your host, Scott Kick Warren. Which extension? One of the downsides to the, using the extension marketplace for Visual Studio Code is that it can be a real pain trying to figure out which extension to use. For example, if we search for PHP CS, we get about 15 results. The first two results are the PHP extension with the same icon but different developers. For this video, we're going to use the extension developed by Ionis Capus because it's been around longer and has the most downloads. You can try the other one, it probably will work for you. Installation. Installation is as easy as clicking the install button, but we do need to configure it. The PHP CS script doesn't come with the extension, so we'll need to install that first. Now we need to open our Visual Studio Code settings and then search for PHP CS. The first thing we need to enter is the PHP executable path setting, which will list where the PHP CS script can be found. Next, we need to configure the standard we're going to use to check the, our code against. We have a couple of options for how we can configure this. The first is to set the default standard in the PHP CS script settings. The other is that we can specify the standard inside of our settings.json file for Visual Studio Code. Mostly this is a personal preference. We like putting it in the settings.json file because we can easily move it to another computer and share it with other developers. But setting the standard at the command line sets it for the PHP Code Beautification and Fixer tool to usage. Using this extension is super easy. We just write our code as we normally would, then if we deviate from the standard, we'll get one of those nice red wavy lines to point out the error, and we can hover over it to see what we need to fix. Unfortunately, this extension doesn't automatically reformat our code to fix the errors. We still have to run the PHP code beautification and fixer manually to get it to fix our errors, or find another extension that will do it for us. We're not a big fan of installing an extension to do this, because by showing us the errors and manually fixing them, we'll train ourselves to use the correct syntax and have less of a need for the PHP code beautification and fixer script. It's not zero, but it's not all the time either. As always, thank you for watching our video. Please make sure you subscribe, comment, and like, as it does help others find us. If you want to help support the channel, support us on Patreon. We would love it, and we'll include your name in our list of supporters in each video. Are you using the extension? Let us know in the comments how it's going, and if you're having any problems. This is Scott Keck Warren for PHP Developers TV signing off and reminding you to keep coding.